Hey everybody, uh, good morning. I'm on my way into work. We have an interesting day ahead. We have Dr. Caldwell, the vet, coming out because George the lion has a problem with his claw in his hind foot. Um, it is growing into the paw pad. It's causing him some discomfort. So we're going to sort that out today. So be sure to stick around. I'm sure it's going to be an interesting video. Okay, I'm arriving at the sanctuary and um, we're going to be setting up and prepping for the procedure. Uh, for those of you who don't know, why is this happening to George? Well, George is a lion that was rescued from Spain many years ago. He's now six years old. We received him and his brother Yame when they were about six months of age. George didn't fare as well as Yami. Yami has some issues of his own, but not uh, in the same way as George. So George arrived, he had a whole bunch of ailments. So we put him on this very hectic um, kind of um, diet together with medication to reverse all of those effects. Um, but unfortunately, George had um, fractured calcaneus bones. And that is the bone, basically your heel bone, um, to which the Achilles tendon attaches and um, so if you've ever seen George walk you'll see he walks um, with his legs kind of collapsing inwards okay and that is because he his calcaneus bones collapsed and the Achilles tendon is pretty slack so he hasn't got a spring in his step he cannot jump well jump a little bit but that's purely because George is a motivated lion but uh, he suffers as a result um, and it's not as simple as most of you would think, oh, well, why don't you just uh, heal or, or, or break the bone and reset it? Um, it's not as easy as that. There's a lot of forces going through uh, that bone. And um, unfortunately, you cannot tell a lion, hey, George, just stay off your feet for six to eight weeks, please. Otherwise, the plate um, won't heal. But because of that weird gait, it's causing all sorts of havoc with his digits. And this particular digit, um, it's the outer toe on the hind foot. A normal lion claw grows out in that curved, curved shape. This one's kind of growing out long and it's kind of pushing, it's kind of like pushing in and growing now into the paw pad. Okay, close. Okay. Show my boy. Okay, when? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a slip. It's gone. Oh my gosh. It fell out. What? Why is it still actual right now? It was, yeah. Oh gosh. Well, George just had a. No, it's amazing. This was bleeding. Oh my gosh, George, you're a miracle child. It will grow again. You think so? Yeah. So it just broke? Just broke off lacquer. Well, at least there was urgency there. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I don't feel bad anymore about postponing you all the time. No. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, it's obviously just uh, um, kind of scabbed up and blood supply dries up and that's that. Well, it's good to, I suppose, take his bloods anyway, see where he's at. Yeah. Well, well done, George. I'm proud of you, buddy. Sorted his problem out himself. Yeah, he said, you know what, this vet doesn't want to come check me. Oh, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> That's fine. Do this, huh? yeah.
call this, call this your annual health check, George, which is actually due for one. So, all right, guys. So. Um, a bit of a false alarm there. <laughs> um, the severe ingrown claw turns out to be missing. I'm gonna have to go look in the enclosure if <laughs> I see if I can find it. But anyway, it's, uh, jokes aside, um, it's good. George did really need to have a bit of a checkup, and uh, it's always good to get his blood um, so that we can just see the levels and see if he's lacking in anything because of his history. So. I look forward to those results because that should, uh, yeah, should tell us a lot. Um, but otherwise, I think uh, condition-wise, he's looking good. This one, seven. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. gonna have to clip that. Yeah. Clip there. That's close to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, that's the that is exactly the kind of thing that's happening. Eh? Yeah. That's, that, look at that. Look at the the, the abnormality. Yeah. How yes. abnormal the pad is. Look how. Because as he walks, that slides, and yeah. it doesn't pull in properly, so no. it slides and it's irritating no. that whole pad. Exactly, and that one, yeah. and that one. Look at them, they're all like, they've lost their elasticity. Yeah. Eh? Give me the clipper, please. Um, actually, the chain cutter. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a nail clipper, Doc. <laughs> That's what Peter uses to break into houses. Yeah, it's going nicely, yeah. He definitely, he's left-handed. Yeah. Yeah. Or left forward. Left forward. Good. <laughs> you just never know how things are going to turn out, guys. I mean, so basically the toenail's fallen off. Um, as, as would happen in a human, it's actually, we're actually thankful that Peter did come out because uh, initially I was thinking, oh, oh boy, we've got the vet out for nothing. But, uh, there was a few toenails uh, there, a few claws that were going just about to grow into the, the um, paw pad. Um, also this morning, uh, yeah, it's feeding time with the hyenas and it looks like Vinci has stubbed his toe. Um, we seem to be having a toe week here at the sanctuary because Vinci the hyena, the spotted hyena, looks like he's broken a toenail and it's actually pointing up. So I'm just gonna go and check on him again so you can join me for that one and uh, some antibiotics and some anti-inflammatories that we need to start giving him. So uh, st stick around, we still got to see Vinci and let George out. Here at uh, the hyenas enclosure, <laughs> the hyenas have all got nice bloody faces. Hello guys. Are you behaving yourselves, hey? You naughty things. So guys, we're busy, um, as you can see, um, renovating the night pens. So this is the last one. It was the most difficult one to do because not all the hyenas go into the, the night pen. Um, so we've had to erect this makeshift fencing around um, for Vinci, who's on the other side. So all of them go in except for Vinci because Vinci is the underdog and they won't allow him in. So he is a bit bullied. And I was initially worried when I heard that he was limping that they might have uh, one of the hyenas might have bitten him, but it doesn't look like that's the case. It looks like he's actually uh, broken his toenail. So unfortunately, these boys have just got to stay in the night pen for a bit longer until they can put the coat on the outside here. Um, and then once that's done, it's going to kind of look like that, which is really, really, really nice. And uh, then we'll have a revamped sanctuary. So I can't wait to show you guys that, but um, let's go and find Vinci. Sorry, I've just got to uh, climb over the fence. <clears throat> I know Vinci likes to hang under a tree at the back. It's his favorite tree. For those of you who know Vinci, he's the sweetest animal you'll ever meet. Very smart. When we did uh, the cognitive of trials a few years back deadly predator challenge the hyenas versus lions Vinci was a star um, he was a star at the bucket experiments he was a star at the mirror maze and yeah he's got a lot of intellect this this boy um, unfortunately in a hyena society you need to also sometimes rule with 
uh, brute force or muscle power. Hello, boy. There's Vinci, Vinci. Hello, Vinci. Hello, Puda. You need a pudding? Hello, pudding. Hello, pudding. Here we go. Tickle, tickle, tickle under the neck. Yes. Oh, yes. And there you can see the gamete. Um, so he's actually managed to rotate that toenail, it's that outer one there. He's managed to rotate that toenail completely, basically 180 degrees. How did you do that, you silly monster? What did you do? Was it because you were being chased or did you do that on your own accord? Eh? And the paw is slightly swollen, especially the digit. So um, we have the antibiotics and the anti-inflammatories, and I don't think it's necessary uh, for Peter to knock him out. What, what we did decide, guys, was that we'll give it four or five days, and if uh, precious pie over here is um, not getting better, then we'll get Peter back out. Nothing like a good chin, chin scratch after a good meal. So, Vinci is going to live, which is good news. And uh, yeah, now it's off to George. Let's get him out and about. He's had enough time to recover. Um, and for those of you who've been wanting to know about Yame, I'll just quickly fill you in. Um, we've figured out what it is with Yame. Um, it's definitely something in uh, the poop when he gets overstimulated. So he gets stimulated by pheromones. He's over sensitive to pheromones. And uh, when he, he gets all excited smelling pheromones, he then starts to get super aggressive, which is, um, it's, it's normal for a lion to get excited when they smell these different pheromones, but it's not normal to get to the level of um, agitation and aggression that Yame is getting at. So we are looking at um, putting him on a course uh, of specially um, formulated medication and then we'll take it from there. I think it's going to be one of those cases where we're going to have to take it one step at a time or month by month. All right. Off to George and Yummy. George gets on with it. That's what I say to people. If you want to be like any lion at the sanctuary, and no disrespect to any of the other lions, just be like George. Because even though he's compromised, George always tries. So I'm like, that's my philosophy, guys. If you, if you, you know, if you're not able to do it, at least try. Just try. You know, I never knock anyone for trying, but so many people out there don't want to try. So be like George, I say to the guys, because that line, nothing stops him. Uh, with disabilities and hindrances and, and all, uh, there, there's old George, uh, you know, he's in there like Fred Bear. So um, yeah, arrived at the enclosure and uh, time to let good old George out. Yame has been the forever watchful uh, brother. Hello, boys. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, why are you being like that? Are you protecting your brother? Eh? Alrighty. And just like that, Mr. Yame is playing up. George is still a bit wobbly. Yeah, Yame. Whatever. Yame is just being normal Yame. Nothing to worry about. He feels like he's, he feels like in this particular occasion, it feels like he's uh, missed out on something. So that's nothing to worry about. Um, that is not a pheromone uh, based response. That is just a basically, um, why is he locked up and I'm out? It's been a good morning, um, very happy 
how things have turned out. Also just seeing that George has a clean bill of health. Um, I think, yeah, uh, more to come with George obviously in the years to come, but we prepared for that. We love him. He's a fantastic lion. He's a wonderful ambassador for his species. He has a huge following out there around the world. And I think George knows his role uh, on this earth is to educate people as to the plight of lions in the wild and in captivity. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do share. Um, it is how we spread the message. And uh, if you enjoy the channel, um, I hope you subscribed. If not, please do subscribe to the channel there for you will not miss out on a thing. I think that's all for now. Um, all that's left to say as usual is until next time. Bye.